The next generation of nuclear reactor technologies is really different from legacy reactors that are part of our baseload power mix for the U.S. nationally. These advanced reactors are really envisioned as small and modular so that several of them can fit together to be part of a single larger system. These sorts of systems really remove some of the concerns that we have potentially about environmental contamination. There's a really small amount of nuclear material embedded in any one of these reactor designs and most of the safety features are passive so they don't require pumps or backup generators to operate. While micro-reactors are still in the early stages of testing and development, our study finds enormous amounts of interest in the technology among energy producers and experts across Alaska. One of the best ways to see if the technology is a good fit for our state is to see it tested in an environment with open sharing of lessons learned and operational realities. Startups have an advantage of bringing a fresh perspective to established industries such as nuclear. In a domain overshadowed by entrenched manufacturers and a quagmire of red tape, the ability to test novel strategies, to leverage innovative business models, or to collaborate more freely provides startups the agility to approach a problem uniquely. This isn't necessarily about creating a better mousetrap. It's about putting the mousetrap in the right place at the right time. Establishing comfort with microreactors will be key to implementation of the technology in our state, both with energy producers and with Alaska residents. There's no emissions. You have stable pricing over the lifetime of that system. You know what your energy costs are going to be. It can provide baseload power, including both heat and electricity for a remote site. There's also the potential benefit that there is excess electric power and excess heat that could help attract new industries and new opportunities for our residents in the state.